welcome to a podcast in which most other people are capturing me. Are you still fucking periscoping? <laughs> <laughs> Get, let it go for like three minutes and then I'll stop. Oh my god. Sam Sheffer is here. I'm hey sure. everyone. Wow. Hey. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm to be the loudest person in history. Hi. All right. Hello and welcome to the broadcast. It's day two. It's see, day yeah, three. We're calling it. I don't forget. Whatever the hell day it is. It's, it's a day. It's day, it's day one. Day, the show floor is open. Wednesday. Uh, we are here at the Verge uh, Lounge on the show floor. There's a crowd here. Walt is just staring at me. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Walt and I literally finished a podcast together like minutes ago, and now he's just here to heckle me because this one is not as good as the one he is. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, my friend Joanna Stern is here. Hello, Joanna's just using her phone. She's Snapchatting. I'm a special guest. Joanna's a special guest. Dieter Bone is here. I'm just a regular old schlub. <laughs> and I, I think you know that Sam Sam is Sam is literally periscoping as we do this. Yeah. I will say that the angle that you've got your camera at. Swangle, <laughs> sir. Sam, this is why I fired you. <laughs> it's not even true. It's literally not true. That's why you fired me. I mean, no, that, the, the angle looks, it makes Sam... Makes you look swaggy. Sam, I've noticed that Sam, since you left the Verge, you've spent a lot of time figuring out ways to make cameras make you look cool. Like it's that right there is like this that is camera. This is literally a, f- a, a secret Santa gift that I requested. <laughs> okay. That's not a secret Santa anyway, gift. Anyway, it is day, day whatever it is at CS. Yeah. Day two of CS. Our second Vergecast here. Yeah. Um, the first day the show floor is open. In, speak into the mic. Speak um, into the mic. Go closer to it. Right there. Okay. It's better. Guys, Walt is watching us, so we should probably do this for real. Well, I mean, you Walt, don't work for Walt. Walt. Is, he's like, he, <laughs> <laughs> you don't work for Walt. Who doesn't work for Walt? That's right. Uh, Walt is all of our boss. Anyway, so Sam, let me just ask you a question. Yeah, what? please. Oh God. What is your job now? My job is a uh, creative producer at Mashable. There you go. So I, uh, I put together the Snapchat Discover channel. Uh, so are you, a week. are you Snapchatting at CES? I am Snapchatting at CES uh, uh, what for Mashable. What have you been snapping? Um, I did three booth tours. I did Sony, I did LG, and I did Samsung. And they, it's basically all thin TVs. Yeah. Like cool 8K uh, HDR. It's like, how is HDR now finally a thing in 2016? But it only came out like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. And then it started a like thing. about for cameras. And now it's a thing. No, I know. But That's like, how TV works. <laughs> no, but like HDR has been around forever. The hell out of oh, here. because the, the technology to make the pixels get as bright as they need to this in order to qualify for being thing. HDR. What? It weren't, wasn't Peter around. told me I can't like look away from the mic. <laughs> you can. <laughs> like you're like looking at Every something over there. Then. I just, I just. No, I have to sit like this. He, Every t- you just have to talk into it. I'm talking into it. Joanna, I the two choices. Here. Joanna, the choices are not gonna, be I'm far here, away from the mic like playing with it. your phone Does anyone and have a rear uncomfortably view sit <laughs> like you're in church. <laughs> the, there's a middle choice. Oh, God. Here. Something. The quality of the show right now, now, we should have some, like, morning zoo sound effects. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Sam has a morning zoo camera angle. That's what that is. What is morning zoo? What is morning zoo? When, is he morning really? zoo? Like morning Zoo? It's just me. Yes. It's the, it's, yeah, it's like the, the Z100 like the, 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 the wacky like morning Durant? radio shows. Uh, yes. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> What's we well, I don't even playing. know what I'm doing here. As, as <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's CES? Or, or I actually have had no idea what I've been doing at CES. Yeah. I still feel like I have to be... How many years has it been, Joanna, Can for I you? Can I move this yes. this yes. way? Please. Oh, that would be the answer? That didn't like, occur to me till right now. <laughs> Veteran technology journalist, Joanna Stern. <laughs> uh, I what, don't know what, what, what I've been doing what, here. What have you been doing here? Have you look, been looking at She's stuff? asking me for Snapchat tips. I, I don't know what I've been doing. Yeah. I've surreal. done things. I've seen some things. I've had some interesting conversations what have about you seen? some things. What have you seen? I've, I've seen... Today I made a, a VR painting. Yeah. Ooh. I made two oh, yeah, VR I saw, paintings. I saw you, you wore the HTC one and you wore the Oculus Yeah, one, I've right? done some... Which I'm one do you like better? And you put that there. epic selfie <laughs> Wow. Um, no, it, like was, it was really very tight on my head. Oh, yeah, which like sea one? goggle face. I had really bad sea goggle face, yeah. which yeah. we're all going to Did have. Did you just make that up right now? That no, that's good. no. Yeah, that like, or ski masks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I, you know, I don't think, because you're not seeing them side by side, I don't, like, and I'm not really an expert in yeah. the kind of graphic fidelity of the images. I don't think I really noticed a difference that much in terms of experience, but I did like the controllers better on the HTC. Oh, interesting. That's pad, really like, sort interesting. Sort of like touch pads. Yeah. And you don't have to like move your hand to another, because on um, Oculus there's two buttons. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. but you just move your th- Yeah, but like, but it's like a, um, on, on the HTC it's like a D-pad yeah. built into the Oh, touchpad. were you using the Oculus touch controllers? Or yes. The- but you just hold those in your hands. You're like, yeah, no, but the, uh, but HTC's is like a touchpad. Oh, cool. Um, so I, I liked I liked that experience part of that better. But I, 
had a lot more fun in the Oculus games. Yeah. Would yeah, you the play? Oculus games are super cool. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the, the, so the coolest so Oculus like demo. Did you do the, the one where the where you're holding virtual controllers in the air and they have the controllers you're holding? No. Oh, that was like that Star Wars thing we saw last year, really right? They're showing this really cool <laughs> toy box thing, which is not going to be released, or I don't know when it's going to be released, but it's a, it's all about using the controllers, and so you pick things up, you play like ping pong. Yeah, yeah. Ping pong. And then the Maybe last like, one, and so you you there's it's like a you like Jonas yeah. said a toy box, and then you can pick things up in the toy box and right. knock blocks yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. And then you didn't get to the RC car. So the no. last thing that they let me pick up out of the toy box was the controller that I was holding. Well, you were, you were oh, interacting like with the objects? No, the, of the last controller. thing I did was, did you like, do this demo? I, was at a, no, I, I like, shot the little rabbit. I, I it was, like, being in a the carnival. Trailer, you you're here now. Yeah. Yeah, but then the last one. No, that was right. So right. the last one is you pick up a virtual controller that is the controller you're holding. And is it, like, exactly the right size and everything? It's weird. Yeah, does it feel real? Yeah, no, it screws with your head, but it's probably they don't have it here. Because I did it in Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Facebook. Um, but it's and then you drive an RC car oh, using cool. the controller that's in your hand. Right. But it's just super weird because yeah. you've been in the virtual right. reality for and you, so you like long. How long, to stare at the how long were you immersed for? Oh man. I was I was, I was immersed <laughs> for. <laughs> I, was I mean, what is it? Come on. In the experience for okay. twenty minutes. So okay. Sam, what 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 have you done here? What have, what's the coolest thing you've seen? LG's roll-up display. That's been like a dream of mine because like foldable, you can like Google foldable displays and there's things from like 1998, but I finally got to see one in person. It is nuts. Yeah. It's really, and like there's there's like barely any distortion. Like, you know, when you push like an LCD, it has that like rainbow yeah. effect, it does nothing. It was really cool. But I mean, it was like connected to some like weird janky yeah. computer thing. There's like a ribbon cable. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Although at yeah. least it wasn't under glass. Usually yeah. those things are under glass. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then it was like- To keep people from Sam from poking yeah. it. Yeah, right, the, right, the, right, the LG right. representative had uh, latex gloves on, and he just very carefully was just like massaging. Real, yeah, massaging it was. It. Yeah, and then but it's cool. It's also it bends um, like convexly and concavely, so you can roll it both ways, which is well, interesting. What's it connected to? Like it's some ribbon cable <laughs> and some like PC that was covered with a piece of paper, and they were like, "Don't film that." Yeah. So yeah, that and then uh, I was just walking around the Samsung booth. I mentioned this to you before, Neilai. Uh, they have transparent TVs, which I've never seen before, and apparently uh, have been a thing or have not yeah. been a thing. So they're There's like just a displays. Oh. Well, no, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. They've had TV transparent dis displays forever. Yeah. And now they're like, we made a TV out of it. I mean, like what's a display is a TV? Yeah, a display is a TV. Right? Isn't that a th the yeah. same thing? But yeah, th that was really Brand cool. New, though. <laughs> and rideables. I've seen some some really quirky, weird rideables. Someone finally made a five hundred dollar elect electric skateboard. Yeah. The Acton Blink. It's like uh, the size of a regular skateboard. Goes like fifteen miles an hour. Only has a range of six miles, which sucks. But it's five hundred bucks. Someone huh. finally did it. Yeah. Um, so you buy one. And it'll never catch fire. Uh, probably yeah. not. Um, am I gonna buy one? I mean, I have an electric skateboard now. Yeah. Um, I want a faster, better one but they're really expensive once once those faster like the 20 mile an hour ones come down under a thousand that's when i think i'll take the plunge but for now they're too too expensive yeah hmm. so yeah have you guys watched sam's vlogs oh, i'm watching Some. sam's vlogs all day, all day? well they last mm -hmm. all day you, yeah wow wow, <laughs> wow. getting shade but thrown at me. i've watched them and i'm like always amazed how like you're smoothly riding on this that's when you're on your skateboard that's right, right. that's right yeah no helmet that's right <laughs> It's very, it seems very unsafe. Thanks, Mom. By the way, Joanna's my mom. It seems very unsafe, but very I'm unsafe. very imp impressed that you're talking really well and you're holding that camera, and then I'm just oh, I learned from the best get right here. Car. Yeah, I taught Sam how to hold how a to camera while you and rode this electric skateboard. Camera. Yeah. 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 Talking about your life. Uh, look, Patel's vlog school is not <laughs> business. <laughs> uh, what's the coolest thing that you've seen here? Is it anything? No. I've, you're, <laughs> you're the person I brought. You're the person who hates yeah. CES. No, I, I, I was just telling Walt this. Um, this is my ninth CES. Wow. Yes. What's yours? I think it's nine. Nine. Yeah. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Seven. You're done a decade of CES. That's right. You get yeah. a pin. I get a pin. <laughs> you get a pin. I get a 3D printed urn to put my ashes in when I die at the end of the show. Wow. And an that, uh, that's Dieter wow. Dark right there. We they, went have, there. they have them here. <laughs> 3D printed yes. urn? You get a 3D printed urn. So you're urn. basically just like signing your death note for yourself. Yeah. Can't. But anyone with a 3D printer make a 3D printing urn? Isn't no, that these are these are quality. Oh, uh, <laughs> as opposed to non-quality yeah, like 3D printed like urns. Like a darn, like yeah. Well, because you want to keep an urn for long. That's how you yeah, pass down from true. generation to generation. Anyway, you, what, what were you saying? Well, about? I was just, like, I I was asking Walt in his experience. He told me this was his 25th. Season. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you count Comdexes, it's like yeah. 30. Count like what? Like what year did it happen Comdex? for him? 
that he wasn't so excited about being here. This is my first year yeah. where I'm just, I used to have this crazy adrenaline and just like feeling, you know, and mm -hmm. you're just like, you're excited. You're really excited to be here. And I don't know if it's that I've been here for two, I don't know if it's time or yeah. if it's just that stuff is kind of boring and it just yeah. feels like what we saw last year and the year before and the year before that. Maybe um, it's consecutive years in a row. Like you haven't taken a wait, break wait. and then. This year, I'm sad about it. This year, Samsung has a fridge with a 21.5 inch display. Oh, that's yes. right. That's right. right. And Think about last that. Year, what was last year's size? Uh, probably like 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just get right. <laughs> bigger and bigger. Right. They're like phones. Well, I thought your piece was great. I loved it and it made me excited to be here again because I it made yeah. like it made me excited about the industry and all that's changed and mm -hmm. like that this show is a marker of what happens in the industry and like that's why all of us do what we do but then i got mm -hmm. up from my computer and i was here again yeah <laughs> and then well, i was excited about uh, it. it's funny because i think 2015 was generally a super boring year in tech yeah right. right like a lot of incremental things like it was so boring that the apple news that leaked at ces this year was not about like a new macbook or like the iPhone going to Verizon. The Apple News oh, leak right. was they're wow. cutting iPhone orders, which is like right. big yeah. deal. Who cares? No, it's a huge deal, that's right? Huge it means deal, people are satisfied with their phones. No, that means like a billion people have an iPhone. Yeah, that's and it means they're the, not getting right. new ones. Right. I mean, they don't want anything better. I think, but so Sam, no, 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 no. Sam representing the uh, light and hope in this conversation right. is means everyone's connected. That's what you're saying. But I'm, I, that's, I'm like they're what they're they're. Uh, stopping as much production on these current devices, right? Or they're, or they're saying that the new orders of the new iPhones are going to be cut down. I, I don't think they've started making the iPhone 7. You don't think? I, I think they've cut, no. they're cutting these, right? They're because they've sold a bazillion of them, right? The market is saturated with these. Haven't they sold more 6S's six, uh, six and 6S six Pluses than all previous generations? Like, doesn't every iPhone beat the previous generation? Right, so the, the, right? the report was that holiday would be slightly beat the previous holiday right. but they're cutting it because they don't think in the first quarter i mean to me that just means that people are still on five five s six and their current successes that's right right right, right. so but but all my my only point here is that news has never come out of apple before the thing that, that right and that's the like thing that comes out of apple during ces Leaks. is the thing that distracts you from what cool right. from what's happening here because something cooler I might mean, be happening right. someplace it's else but it's, anyway, my point is I only i heard there's like a red watch band there's a yeah, yeah. and there's it's a, only there's wednesday a black steel also Milanese. we could yeah. have leaks that was a leak Hot. and friday Hot. uh but my point is like 2015 was a down year and you would hope that ces would pick it up and be like everybody waited but instead what happened was like right samsung did a bunch of silly stuff Sony announced nothing. literally nothing. A, a record player. Right. Um, LG. <laughs> literally. They literally, literally announced a record player. Hey, answer this question. Why are, why are record players so hard? I've checked record players. Okay, so I, in Jersey, where I live, there's a, a really, it really good... It took that second to make up the answer that's coming. <laughs> no, 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 there's like a story that's involved with this. Well, it's no. amazing. So, so we all just experienced no, so what Sam was like in high school. I, so, Very so talented. There was a king named Charlemagne, yeah. I believe. <laughs> this is what happens when I want to tell a story on the Verge cast. No, I go just, ahead, go ahead, so, go ahead. So in my hometown in Jersey, uh -huh. uh, the English town flea market uh, is an amazing flea market. There are gems there, so... Uh, both of my younger brothers, I have one brother that's turning 21 and my other brother's 22. They both have record players and Your they both... just like banged them out. They both... Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> uh, oh, they, they... I'm going to pretend that he's didn't happen. He's 25. Yeah, that's right. We're close in age. Yeah. Yes. Thank he's you, Mom. Or you're 25 thank or 24. There's a three-year gap. It's the second two. Barely. He got really it's banged out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so both of my younger brothers have record happened. players, and yeah. they both prefer to listen to music it's on record players. 521 in Vegas, and it's getting a little naughty. players, I think because of the sort of exclusivity of it, and the, it's like a really cool feeling, I think, to have this, like, vinyl that yes. you put down, and it's the whole experience, and then, the, honestly, the music quality listening to a vinyl record is, is unmatched. Right. And so mm -hmm. in my, I live with my younger, my next younger brother, and his record player sits in my living room, and we have a stereo, and like we prefer to listen to records. But I mean, it's v we have a uh, Chromecast audio now, so it's way easy to just you know yeah. link into the Chromecast audio. But I think it's just it's it's really like the fact that these existed for like you guys yeah. when when you were no you didn't use a record player did you use a record player no i bought a record oh. player when i was like in college it, to be like so when were record when were record players so I think record players got disrupted that. it was like record walt? players is walt around well yeah. i sat like, on, no like, i sat on this stage today yeah. 70s, 80s, right 
Our, um, I mean, my dad had a record player in our house, but we didn't use it. Right, because oh, we had, had new player. formats. We all had, like, what? The we had tapes and then discs. CDs. Right. Yeah, we grew up with tape. I grew up with tape. Like, yeah. tapes mm. were the first and then I grew up CDs. With, I grew up with tapes, tapes, but we had record players and we used them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah used I, mean, like, them. I mean, Hype Check record players is is the aesthetic of, you know, having this and the artwork and just like. But there's like a booming, there's like a vinyl sales boom. Yeah. And it was and the most popular thing on Amazon over the holiday season, right? Yep. It was and record really. players. In and the Sony, yeah. record player was the number one post on the site. And the second most popular post on the site yesterday was the Technics turntable. And it's like crazy to me. And it's like cool. the president it's of Sony Electronics sat on the stage with me this morning and was like, "Oh, I saw that." Yeah. Record players are sexy. They're hot. And I was like, "I don't know what." They're it's 2016. It's it's this appeal of like, us teens didn't have this, and now like we have access to it, and it's relatively cheap. Like, if you look at Polaroid, well, and that uh, film, uh, it's, it's not relatively cheap. Yeah, it is. No, I mean if that's you why go, I go run into the flea market. Like, yeah, that's I do right. that too. I will we'll go to the flea market buy records, but like that's right. you very quickly run out of stuff you want, and, like, and then you get to the point where you just all right. It's like oh, you gotta find like, like this John Frusciante vinyl. It's like three hundred dollars on eBay. Yeah, or like if you want to buy new music. On, yeah, on how do you LP, buy new music? On you, go, I, you go to a record no, store no, no, and it's like twenty bucks. You don't, you don't listen to new music on records. Well, so that's the thing. I think. Right. Personally, I think the appeal is Taylor Swift available on a record. I imagine somewhere. Yeah, I think isn't everything. Isn't everything no. printed to vinyl? No. No? No. no. It's, it, again, so I was... Pressed, I guess. I, is I, was, I talked to Sony about this a lot yesterday, and they were like, Sony Music had to go find old vinyl cutting machines and wow. refurbish them because nobody makes the stuff. So, like, the, in, the surge in interest is, like, creating this another... This so, Sony market. is, like, now getting back into... Do they yeah. did they have vinyl players back in the day? Was that a Sony? Yes. Yeah, they did? Okay. Yeah. okay. See, I mean, like, all these audio companies, it's just funny that they're back. And I, I think it really goes down to, like... Every streaming music app kind of sucks. Oh God, we're not doing this. We are not we are. doing this. Forty, forty dollars. Every single one. For what? Taylor. Yeah. On yeah. vinyl. Vinyl LP you pressing. Right now? Okay, Apple Music is literally garbage. Oh my no God. one uses Just Apple. Just out of nowhere. Literally, no one uses Apple Music. <laughs> Spotify is the best. Yes, yeah, Spotify. All the of best. my friends use Spotify. Well, it's the best of and Venmo. I want to talk about Venmo for a second. No, you guys always I, kind of I love Venmo. But what does this have to do with music? You can because, listen to music because, on Venmo. Because we've we've Teams? talked about Venmo on the Vergecast before, and they're That's like, oh, no one uses Venmo. Just, everyone uses Venmo. Everyone uses Venmo. Guys, just guys, guys. There's literally no reason to talk about Venmo at CS. None at all. Or Spotify. If you talk about Venmo at CS one more time, you have to Venmo me five dollars. <laughs> okay, fine. I will right now. <laughs> Why is it so easy to use? It's so easy to use. Uh, Just send you, money you to anyone. Talk about you guys want some money on I Venmo? Got a, I, got, I, I got a list. The links. <laughs> jo the Joanna, stuff that Joanna, happened here. Yeah, Steeder, do some news. What do you want? What do you want? You want to talk about Netflix? Yeah, let's talk oh, about Netflix. Yeah. yeah. 130 talk, talk more services. countries. 130 countries. That's a, that's a lot of countries. That was their big announcement. So Netflix yeah. had a big press conference today. Yep. And their thing is they're the first global TV network. Yep. Which is an interesting <laughs> thing to say. I don't I don't want your dirty money. I don't want your literally Venmo. What are you going to put as the message? Oh, my God. Just like, right, like. Yeah. What else? <laughs> the problem with this is I grew up in a time and a place where you didn't talk about money. Yeah. You either, you were poorer than everybody else and you felt awkward or you were richer than everybody else and you were a dick. <laughs> right? And so you just, you don't, and so the idea that there would be a social network where I could watch money be exchanged between friends. That's weird. Is yeah. deeply creepy and it weird is. to me. Yeah. yeah I the mean, social I, part is a little odd. I find and the fact that it's all really it's all public. Any one of a hundred other ways to send money. No, but it's just that it's so easy it's that so all those easy. people are there. Okay. Sam, I'm not talking about it anymore. They <laughs> are. <laughs> Why did you do this to the show? I love to talk about Venmo. <laughs> okay, so Netflix is in 130 <laughs> new countries. Yeah. Um, they have said that they won't promise to not uh, censor stuff. Yeah. In different places, they will see. Um, and they call themselves a global TV network. Yeah. Yeah. And they made a huge, like, Reed Hastings was on stage today. He's like, you are witnessing. It was like, <laughs> we had a conversation about whether, like, if he, is he getting more evil? Yeah. And then we realized that, like, primarily what his company does is, like, ship cartoons to children. And that inherently keeps you from being evil. Wait, well, what no, was they, also, they also make, like, torture porn uh, action TV shows, Marvel yeah. TV shows. What was the most, the streamed movie? What was the? Oh, the God. Ridiculous 6. But it was, it was, it was, like, it was a faster start. Most streamed in the first 30 days. It's not the most oh, streamed. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I saw a headline and I was like, oh, that, mm, that's a little scary. Okay. Yeah. So fastest. Okay. What, what, is the most? what was the news at Netflix other than streaming to the world? I just I mean, got a Venmo notification. Uh, they're doing a bunch of new shows. They had like a bunch of trailers oh, really? for new shows. Yeah. yeah. Ross was like freaking out in the live blog because the yeah. dude from uh, 
the phone booth show, the Doctor Who. Sorry. But that's really interesting to me. Like, if you think yeah. about who has traditionally been at CES, like um, Netflix is here because they're a tech company, but they're just they just shut off content today. Yeah. They right. didn't shut off any technology. Right. They're I like, mean, it is tech, right? They're delivering billions of hours of streaming video instantly to billions of people. Why did the they world. go to a TV show co- or TV right. network conference? Like, yeah. the hell Netflix is a TV is network the conference? world's greatest networked TV network now. Right. Mm, like that's say, how I think about Netflix. I'd, I'd say YouTube is. <coughs> Close. I don't watch a lot of YouTube other you're, than you, Sam. Oh, thank you. It's because you're like, you're a little, yeah. you know, there's I'm like this, behind. there's seriously like this, here. this age demographic of like 12 to 25 that is just so YouTube. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys like, do you know the numbers of these Minecraft videos that are on YouTube? Yeah. They're yeah. Like, they're there's insane. like, there's like a, a, node of Minecraft YouTubers that all have like 10 million subscribers yeah. each that are doing billions of views on YouTube and, and it's like literally three year olds while it's and it's just like voiceover yep, on like they're just playing yeah. games it's crazy um, all right anyway Chevy Bolt what Why are you I want to talk about what you guys want to talk about I feel like me and <laughs> you Sam. and Sam uh, just run away with nonsense yeah just, um, this is quality content well I just want to know like did, did, did you go to the press conferences no no <laughs> she was drinking Starbucks you in her just hotel like, have you just been opting out of CS this whole time I, I wrote some stuff. Yeah. Um, I wrote about my usual wacky connected health crap that's mm-hmm. been here that I always... Anything good? What do you think of the new Fitbit? We talked about this yesterday. Um, I I saw it. It I think it looks better actually in person than the, <laughs> the picture. This is the faintest I didn't get phrase. to use it, really. I didn't right. get yeah. to like... Is this a know, nice one that looks like a nice... I put it on of... and I like, like page through the menus and that was really the All extent right. of me using it. But... Um, I I think it's a good move for them. I mean, five days you of battery life with a color screen and being able to classic track your workouts and also hopefully get better heart rate monitoring. If they had probably email on there too, I would mm. say that they have email? everything that I texting. do. What? They have texting. They don't have email. Oh, I see. No. It would. I would say if they had email, it would probably do every single thing I do on my Apple. Let me ask you: Are the car companies coming after you? Yeah, there's a lot of car things here. But are they? But are they like? Approaching you as a Wall Street Journal reviewer yeah. to play with stuff. What are they? What are they pitching you? A lot of the interface improvements, <coughs> things that are going on, you know, innovation at the at the companies. It, things it's like just that. like super broad topics. Yes. We want you to do a story about innovation. So I mean, last year I covered both CarPlay and Android Auto, and they were. I yeah. loved covering both of them, and if I bought a car right now, I would not buy one without probably CarPlay, even though I liked Android Auto better, but I'm not fully on an Android phone all the time. Um, Well, I think one of the stories of the show is that Samsung and LG actually know how to make interfaces as long as they're not doing it on a phone. Right. As long as they're not skinning something. (laughs) They are skinning something. Where where are these interfaces live? The Uh, WebOS TV 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 looks really nice. They just, yeah. There's that, but there's also, they, apparently LG was involved in creating the interface for the infotainment system on the Chevy Bolt. And mm-hmm. Chris, if you go watch a video, go. Chris tried it out. He actually really likes it. It's got a, like a, a really obvious like widget system for all the stuff you want to have showing on your car, and you can like it goes full screen. It's it's a, it's responsive and fast. It's not slow and crappy like every other car interface is. And you can still yeah. get Android Auto and and CarPlay and right. Chevy's on the Bolt too. Anyway, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. And then you know Samsung's TV. I think it's great. I think the fridge has got a decent interface. Yeah. Uh, it's like. As long as they're not skinning Android, surprise, well, so they it, know what they're doing. Well, it's, I, you, Tito wrote a thing about Tizen this morning I think is, like, super interesting because I went and played with a bunch of Samsung stuff. And it's like Samsung made Tizen, and everyone thought it was for um, competing with phones and pulling away from Google. And maybe, maybe one day that will be true. But in the meantime, they control an operating system stack that they are using um, to make really smart other things. I mean, that's basically your, your thesis. Yeah. Right. I, just, I, just yeah, I have answer. nothing else to say. <laughs> just repeated what I what I thought of. Well, no, it's just really interesting because like, I don't know that I would want them to use Android for this stuff. Like, no. I, there's a lot of stuff Samsung makes where I prefer that it not be Android, or I'd prefer that Google's ideas would be some other. Like the the TV is a really good example. Like, do you want Samsung to just make an Android TV, or do you want them to try something new? And because they tried something new, they've done more integration with TV stuff than anything Google's been able to do yet. I want to go check out the. TV, the yeah. Samsung TV stuff now. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. No. When I bought a Samsung TV last year, does Ooh. that mean I'm not getting Why didn't you wait for HDR? Oh, I have HDR. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch anything in HDR at home? Is there anything available to you in HDR? I think some Amazon content. Yeah. Yeah. Is I feel like, like a real problem for all Actually, no, I have. I think Transparent has HDR. Does it, it say, they have, like, They say it has Ultra HD. 
All I know is transparent. Tra it just means it's 4K. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, but it would need HDR as well. Right. Did, but it, did it shine like it doesn't, a, did Content it shine doesn't have to have HDR percent. and 4K. Right, you can be 4K. You can be without HDR. Do you watch yeah. your TVs at I'm max look brightness? It up. Hell no. Up? Right, so HDR primarily works by making stuff way brighter, right? Well, and enhancing so that the color. Kind of sucks. It, it makes the darks darker, yeah. right? But no. No, only, Hold on. re only relative to... Uh, dark, making the darks darker is a different technology. HDR is about the, the, the size of the gamut between dark light and dark and it primarily does it by making it lighter have you seen sony's they have like direct comparison they have like a tv that's split with non or sdr and hdr and then they have them on top of each other yeah. you really do see the difference it's li it's literally like when you take a a photo on your phone and you turn on hdr and you look at the two of them like when you take a picture of the sky it's basically just like yes that. transparent did have hdr yeah. enabled all i know oh, is that cool. transparent looked fucking amazing on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> i mean like i mean it's an you, amazing you have, show but a, like there's, you know, you don't, when, like, when you, you come to a show like this, you, like, look at the display and you really appreciate it. And then when you first get your new TV, you're like, oh, wow, this looks amazing. And then you get used to it. Mm -hmm. And then there are times, like, you're watching a show and you're just like, wow, this looks fucking amazing. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, you just, like, stop thinking about the content for a second and I'm just like, this your is TV's my TV. Your TV's UHD? 4K, you know? Joanna? I'm like, yeah, that's my TV. You know, but, you like. You sued? Yeah. Sued? I did. I got a suit. Yeah. <laughs> the remote sucks. I, yeah. Yeah. That's real bad. I'm in search for, uh, I'm going to do a piece on this soon for like a. And action. you're going to end up recommending a stupid Logitech Harmony and yep. it's bad. That's the best one that I've had so far. Yep. yep. I have like 10 in my apartment. I've refused to upgrade from the Harmony so one. Bad. I yeah, just I, keep replacing the battery which when one, they you explode. You have the one with the, um, well, they have like 730, it's, 950. Uh, no, it's no, the Harmony one. one. The you, old Harmony one. It's like seven years old. You can't get that anymore. Yep. Yeah, but you can buy the batteries for it on Amazon. Because the rechargeable battery dies about once every three years. Peter and I play the same game. I will use that battery to control my TV. You guys yeah. prefer uh, I mean, smart it TVs? Sucks. Like, do you no. enjoy having all that? My my garbage? Panasonic if smart I TV. Had a, you, if you I had a smart that? TV that was good, I would definitely prefer right. it to a smart like, box. I, I love just you plug in an HDMI cable into the TV, you plug in an HDMI cable into the Xbox, and you're done, or into your laptop, or into your Apple TV. Like, the TV, I, I really just Go think it should be one. a. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, the, new ones. I haven't, yeah. like, yeah. The, the, like, Samsung's new ones are fast. Oh, like, yeah, that was a huge problem, was the interfaces were always right. super My, like, slow. Not so, mine's like, not so slow. I mean, I use it for Amazon, because now I don't have to use the Roku, because it's built into oh, that. That's right. And so now I just use Apple TV I guess you and do Samsung's need some sort of interface. hub, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you don't have Apple TV or Roku. And right. I, don't, I don't like and using I Google Cast, because uh, when we're picking a show, we want to pick it together. Right. So you got to do that on the TV uh, instead yeah, of on the phone. Do that on your phone. Oh, we should talk about this. There's actually a huge trend here, which is Google Cast speakers are yes. everywhere. I put it in. The I saw it. I transitioned. I Wait, okay. so, it so what? It was a real alley-oop. Like, what does that mean? So uh, there's a bunch uh, of so Google Cast speakers. Well, I'll just set this up. The for like years, Thomas Ricker and I have come to the show and like looked for cool AirPlay things, right? Oh, yeah. You uh, always wrote about AirPlay. We were always things. coming here and finding AirPlay things, and they all suck. And the only AirPlay thing that's any good now is the Apple TV itself. Yep. Yeah. And you can airplay video to the Apple TV. And even that's pretty flaky. Mm -hmm. like it's I not, have one. it's not like I used to think of AirPlay and iMessage as the two moats around the iPhone that nobody could cross. And like AirPlay is like kind of gone. Mm. Right? Yeah. But Google Cast is really good. So meaning you it's have like speakers really and you just you, you connect yeah. it to your Wi Fi and then you can just Well yeah, so you have Chromecast audio. I have Chromecast audio, I have the new have, Chromecast. Now you just have these new speakers they they yeah, have it built in directly. Built into it. Yeah. And if you're on Spotify, the native yeah, it hits it like streams it's, directly. Yeah, connected it's devices. Way, and it's way native, and it's like really fast and really great, and it's like cheap. So you could just instead of buying the Chromecast audio, that if you already have a speaker system, you yeah, just buy these just speakers. Into these speakers. Who makes the speakers? Anyone good? Oh, they added a bunch of art partners. Sonos. No, no. Sonos. Sonos is never going to make. Sonos it. is not going to give up their technology. Fair. Who the, what the hell is wrong? But actually, yeah, how but that's just the first one. How a is linking more. multiple rooms and and um, so like that's accounts the one, to? I don't know. I like plugging. Oh, well, accounts shit is in not still. a problem. If it's on the Wi-Fi network, you can set set it up so it'll allow anybody to stream to it from yeah. the Wi-Fi network. <laughs> the 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 multi-room thing is more complicated. So I think the Google Cast Audio Puck supports multi-room audio. But the thing we're going to need to see is if all these speakers the systems are up to that. date with that multi-room stuff. They ought to be, yeah. but it's possible they might not because it might be a you know slightly different version of the Google Cast OS. We'll right. have to see. It's Which, by the way, I think is probably Chrome OS. Underneath? Underneath, yeah. Really? So you need yeah. to, you need the Google Cast app on your phone to set up the speakers then, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. But it's, I mean, you can do it on the web. Uh, B&O, 
uh, Harman Kardon, oh, Onkyo, wow. Philips, Pioneer, wow. Romfeld, wow. LG, Denon, Sony. Yeah. How That's the awesome. hell did they, did did Apple not get AirPlay on all of those first? So they did though, right? Didn't they, they have they did some so AirPlay? Yeah, I have a Pioneer AirPlay receiver, and it like kind of works. It just doesn't most of the time, right? Like, <laughs> it, like it kind of works. Yeah. Like yeah, it it's fun. Like it's like a little bit slow, huh? That sounds like pretty much. I would. I know. I would agree that that (laughs) Google Cast is more reliable than Apple TVs. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Although Apple AirPlay works when you don't have an internet connection, in a way that uh, Cast is not as good at. Hmm. Like direct streaming from the device to the thing you're streaming to with Google is terrible. Like when you try and stream a, cr- a Chrome tab to yeah, that's bad. Chromecast, it's bad. Right. But when so you're pulling it from the Chromecast itself, when you have internet, right. it's great. Right. right. If you're like using you, like when you ca- when I cast something from my phone using the YouTube app, it, c- it like actually does it from the the co- Chromecast itself. But when you're doing that with AirPlay, did you know that if you AirPlay <coughs> a YouTube video on your phone and you close, like you lock your phone, it yeah. stopped. It's so stupid. Yeah. Like that's how, what I'm what? saying. It used to be yeah. this mode. And now it's like they just didn't pay a lot it's of attention not, to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's really cool. And then the other big trend here, this is so silly. We talked about the retro stuff. So that's one big trend. We, the, the speakers. There's like USB-C stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's not like stupid. It blew out. It's, I didn't say it was stupid. I oh, said it was okay. a big trend. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I didn't stupid. hear stupid. <laughs> so this stupid. is like it's what like I think. It was stupid. <laughs> but, so I think about this show is like Vlad wrote this piece about how CS is just a mall. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, CS is a mall. Like, but this is all the stuff that's going to be in Best Buy this year, food. right? Like, what USB C stuff has there? Uh, there's a bunch of monitors, some of which are like one. Of, I think one or two of which are like standalone, so you don't need to, to plug them in. They just power, power up over up the USB, from so you so just like carry around a monitor. It's like yeah, duet. It's like duet on a tablet, or right? On a, but it's just the USB C monitor. Doesn't that wreck the battery? Yeah, yeah but if you're mm-hmm. plugged it, in, how much? Yeah, but how are you plugged in? No, but how much does charging an iPad wreck your battery? Yeah, it's the same cable, so you plug the. Mm-hmm. No, but you you, the, you go MacBook. USB-C to the monitor, right? right. And then, but then how are you can't charge the MacBook? You need the adapter, well, right? Some computers some have, multiple have USB more than one USB-C cable, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> not every. They're not just MacBook HP accessories. HP and Dell yeah. announced so the show. Okay, USB I missed that. I missed that. Okay. Lots there of okay, hard drives. So There's more a sweet looking. I think it was a Lacy. The Chromebook Pixel as a USB-C. Yeah. yeah. My you favorite computer. Yeah, they, they announced a bunch of hard drives that are USB Type-C. Yep. There's a MagSafe for the MacBook. Yeah, yeah, that you, thing looks cool. I saw that. I saw that, yeah. That um, thing I mean, it had to happen, right? Like, ones. everyone's been talking about USB-C for years. And it's like, it's finally happening. Right. Well, well next like month, are we going to see, like, finally all these phones have USB-C, too? Mm. Yeah. Well, the the, the rumor uh, this week is the uh, Galaxy S7 is going to use USB-C. Mm. That's big. That doesn't surprise me yeah. at all. That's kind of where, it, like, that's what will kick this uh, off. The other thing that happened with the USB-C this week is it almost, uh, yeah, I almost tried my mm-hmm. laptop. Saw it? Yeah. I was using one of the knockoff USB-C cables that wasn't, like, official enough. Didn't not have that, the right not resistor. Not your air. This air right here, I almost destroyed it because it it, uh, it overheated it it overheated the MacBook when I was trying to charge my phone off of it. I have a oh, USB-C phone. Oh, 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 oh. And so when I was charging uh-huh. my phone off of it, it, uh, it was pulling too much it's power. It's USB 2 to USB-C? Yeah, yeah. yeah, USB-A. USB-A, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and what happened? It got hot? It got hot, and then the, uh, the like, there was, like, a thermal protection thing built into the hardware of the USB that, like, shut off the USB Whoa. for a while. And so you, came back. you could have lost your phone and laptop. Wait, you figured it out? Yeah, the, uh, some, <laughs> some guy on Twitter, some very smart guy on Stephen Twitter. Stephen Smith. Whoa. Yeah. 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 So I had to wait for the, the thermal to come crazy. back. That's hmm. crazy. So anyway, check the, uh, find the reviews from uh, the guy from the, I the Chrome team. thought you bought a MacBook. Yeah, I thought you had no, one too. I, it was a review, and I was gonna. I've been. I've like. I borrow a review unit like once every three months. I'm like, I'm gonna do it, and then I like, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm waiting for the processors. Well, I to saw Thomas. To Thomas happen. Ricker with his yeah, MacBook, and he had he like. Loves that thing. Yeah. So we should talk about that. Carrying around that cute. Oh, everything looks like that thing. now. Yeah. Every like. Oh God, yeah. Um. Those new Samsung laptops. It? The Samsung one. The Dell made one. Dell made one. LG made one. LG. The LG one is like egregious. Yeah. I here's what here's my I have I have a belief about Samsung and LG. That will probably Plastic. get us not they, invited to every LG press They are the same <laughs> company. They're, no, no, they're not. Samsung is like trying to do something new, and LG remains the shameless one. Yeah. LG will what just do crazy do shameless crazy shit all the time. What? Dan is just like, he's just staring at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> all I'm saying is that LG did the gram. LG did the gram. LG did the gram. Before. Like that. That's true. LG yeah. did do the gram. But I, ju- I just think attitudinally, like Samsung is like the outperforming first child. <laughs> and LG is like the fucking drunk one. Yeah. <laughs> so where does that leave Sony? 
Huh? Sony, Sony is like, Sony Sony is like, like the, the, they don't even the, make PCs anymore. The cool Sony's stepbrother. No, yeah, Sony's the stepbrother from another family. That no, like shows he's like up. the he's like the uncle that you think is cool, but then you grow up and you realize he was just drunk. <laughs> Everyone oh, is me. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sony. That's why I like Sony so much. Neil, like, what's Joanna's Neil? Like, looking around the audience. Yeah, I was now. thinking about getting a. Neil, like, what's the coolest thing you've seen so far? Huh? What's the coolest thing you've seen so far? It's the coolest thing I've seen. I mean, it's literally only day one. Well, well, the show the floor. But it, I'm leaving floor. tomorrow morning. Wow. Are you just enjoying okay. it? I'm so over it. I need to get back to New York. I need to get back to my uh, and my wife. I haven't seen that much. I will say um, I am kind of like really into drones. Mm. I think this is a thing that this happens. Is, this is, the, uh, you're approaching dad levels right yeah, now. You're, yeah. Yeah. I hear the dad I just think you. it's like a really fascinating did you buy thing. a house upstate? <laughs> no, but when I do, I will fly over it with a drone whenever I wish. Yes. Um, but I bought one for my father-in-law for Christmas, and I have flew drones. And uh, how long, like, how, if you buy a $2,000 drone, you're, you dead. Don't, you're not actually, like, using it to watch yourself mountain bike or, like, check your crops or whatever. Like, you're going to go <laughs> my out. My father-in-law literally isn't using it. Yeah, so that's check cool. Check his crops. But, yeah. like, yeah, if you're just buying it wow. as a toy, yeah. I can't. Right. right. Like what you're like gonna what you're going to do with the footage you capture? Like, no, so I don't think the drones are interesting for that. I, well, I I think it's they're, they're like fat. They the one I bought my father-in-law's Phantom Three goes like yeah. thirty oh, miles yeah. an hour. Oh yeah, it's like super fun. Right. But wow. what's and interesting? And also like how it works is just like insane. Right. So like when yeah. you're setting that thing up and it like just knows where your phone is and like yeah. the yeah. whole thing is kind of insane. So but what I think is really interesting about that and it, this kind of goes to like Sam and, and Rideables is like. The, it's doing most of the work for you, yeah. right? And then you can just be like, go here, do that. And so I looked around. I was at the Intel booth for a minute today. Did you see it? Um, the segue that, like, follows you around the robot. Oh, and then the, no, they, the, have, the, they have the, the drone, drone that now has a real sense yeah. camera that can, like, look wow. around it. Wait, fly Intel, around Intel's stuff. real sense camera? Intel is drone. huge. Yeah. No, it's in, it's in a production drone that's coming out uh, this year. Who makes that? Uh, it's Yunky. The unique. Ty- unique, unique. Sorry, unique. The typhoon. The typhoon. It's here. H. Right. H. Oh H. yes. Yep. And unique it has a real sense camera, and you can like go and like wave your hand at it and see the like infrared version of your hand. And Intel got it going around a drone cage, following a dude. Yeah. Intel is so it's deep into really drones, good. they just bought a drone company, yeah. and they've put oh, right, and oh, they've invested that's heavily right. in the unique. Unique yeah. is the electric skateboard I have. The ego. That's the one I bought. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So what's interesting to me, like what what gets me out of that stuff is like you see the themes here where. All these computers are helping you do stuff right. in ways that feel like you're still doing stuff. So you fly a drone, and it's like, oh, I'm flying this drone. Like, I'm doing all this work. You're I'm doing like a minimal steering operation, Steering it, though. and, like, really you're just going, like, up, left. Right. Mm-hmm. And, like, the computer is doing all of the work. Well, that Lily drone is supposed to come out this year. That yep. was the Kickstarter project. Yeah, the fall. Fo- you just throw just it. just throw it, and you well, it parrot put out one you everywhere. Just throw, right? And, like, all, and the, right, and so now they can see you. They can yeah. follow yeah. you. Uh, they can drone. track you. Yeah, I saw that scary. thing. Um, so I Again, like, I don't have a use for them, so I, like, haven't really been into it other than, like, yeah, it's cool to get the video, I but, guess. But I think we're in the first... Like, I don't think Phantom knew that what yeah. people were going to use drones for in the beginning was, like, video. Yeah. Like, the first Phantoms had no camera mounts. People were right. just strapping GoPros right. to them. And, like, they got to the point where they made the Phantom... That's yeah. Michael Jackson. It's just Welcome a Michael show Jackson. Floor. Welcome to CES. They got to the point where they're just making... That's probably not going to stop. It's definitely going to stop. It stopped. Um, <laughs> I got it. Uh, I don't think you got it. I got it. <laughs> Somebody got it. I made a face. The face was responded to, <laughs> and then it was gotten. <laughs> Let's be clear. Um, Joanna just how is palm. working for him? <laughs> going? How was the power <laughs> not gone to his head? But the face was just do the thing that was pretty much agreed to. You know, knee like that. Um, no, no, no. But if you just think about like the DJ, I didn't know that the Phantom would do anything. Then they made the Phantom 2 Vision with a GoPro mount. And then the Phantom 3, they're like, okay, we make our own cameras. Right. Um, Like, they didn't know. They just, like, iterated their way towards what the thing is. I don't, and whatever, and they'll still make those forever. But if you just think about a world in which things are better at moving for you and by themselves, like, it could be a car. Like, it doesn't have to be a car first, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It could be this weird Intel robot thing that they have rolling around there. It could be... Sam's tele- skateboard. It could be telepresence things in the office that mm-hmm. actually know. I, like, when I was in Intel's booth, I went up to a meeting, and there was just, like, random telepresence robots just, like, driving themselves home. Were it was, like, doing crazy. But the, people had been in meetings, and then they, like, they disconnected from their laptops, and the robot just, like, mm. drove itself home. Yeah. Um, 
It's wild. Wow. Wow. And it's just like, can it, just imagining a world in which things are better at moving themselves right. is like, that's actually really mm. exciting. To so me. that's like cars I'm and drones about, like, and rideables. Life. Well, cars yeah. and drones and rideables and like, and, you know, Amazon's got robots packing right. stuff up in factories. Mm-hmm. Um, the, like, think of stuff that has to move in like very small context all the way up to very big context. So right. like, it could be down to like, yeah, I want a robot to get me a beer. Like that would be cool. But yeah. like, it right. doesn't have to actually involve me as a human being. Mm. It could involve just robots talking to robots, robots talking to physical things. Are they going to talk to us? Doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I like that piece today by Casey. I haven't I haven't finished the, oh, the whole thing, that but that's the, 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 the that's the whole big thing yeah. about talking to robots, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like well, you have are, to get yeah. beyond apps. Like, how do you right? How beyond do you, apps. Well, I mean, you can only you can like if everybody has a phone, and all the average number of apps downloaded on a phone is zero. Like you right. kind of the average number of apps downloaded on a smartphone is zero. Is that true? Where's that stat? Yeah. What? Casey tells it to me all the time. Like what people all buy, get a phone, and don't download apps. Yes. They yeah. don't download Lo- Facebook. Tons first. of people do this worldwide. Worldwide, uh, like across the. Okay. All. Like Facebook is, I assume, like one of the first things, the billion of people, bil- billion people on Facebook download on their phone. Yeah, yeah the, but the, Facebook is preparing for a world in which it's not happening. That's the the, the whole story of the information Android about thing, getting right. ready to in case they don't have to have apps. And Facebook cares a lot about the performance of their app. Uh, over HTML on on really crappy connections because a lot of people just right. can't don't, don't have access to math it. over here. I just doing some math. There's, I just wanted to look at the, the li- I wanted to have the list. There's seven billion people on Earth, right? So like, even yeah. if you start adding phones to all those other six billion people, like they might not download Facebook. Right. Well, in in a lot of the places where they don't yet have phones, Facebook is strategically trying to be on those phones before they get right. them. So well, they're already on the phones. Right. But what I think is interesting is like maybe the kinds of technologies that actually go to those places or come to the rest of us aren't apps, right? They're, they're extensions of phones that do things that phones can't do. Right. And like moving right. is one of those things. Oh, wow. Right? And like having a conversation with you in through notifications AI. and chat client. Mm-hmm. It's like Zuckerberg's goal for the year. Right. Right. Saw yeah. that, right? Zuckerberg is building Jarvis. Right. And like you see that stuff starting to like take root okay, here. Yeah. Like it's, I don't. It's we should probably write the piece that connects the drones to the right. self-driving cars. Right? I mean, like, those are the same objects. The drones are just smaller and fly. And right. propellers that can. But it also it does cut connect. You. And I would just like to be in those the, um, so I could easily go about above chatbots. Manhattan. And there get was to work. a. Did you not see? I saw that thing. Autonomous what? helicopter yeah. that got announced yeah. today. What? Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's, it's it a quadricopter. Yeah. But it's big. It's so big it can have a person. Oh, inside it's, it. it's called. And it's got a perfect mode for name for you. It's called the E-Hang. No, it's. Yeah, yes, it yeah, is. It's it's, uh, it's called Millenicopter. <laughs> the <laughs> Millenicopter. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Let me, can I? Is there is there a working prototype? No. It, oh well, my God! You don't have natural here. scrolling on. I don't even want to yeah. talk about this. Natural scrolling is for stupid people. <laughs> Not gonna talk about. It. Wow. <laughs> that that's is nuts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a wow. helicopter. It, is this thing at sea? Yes. I don't know. We have to we have to find it. Wow. Yeah. Let me see. Wow. Let me see the picture. There you go. There's a picture. It's wow. A, it's yes. About, but uh, oh, wait. Here. That's not the one that I think I saw. Then there's a a drone with a seat. Isn't that the same thing? Are you that thinking looks of the seaplane? Like like no. Oh. Okay. Well, there, so, yeah. So now the, the drones are going to fly people in them, which is crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. It's right. the best. Hype check the autonomous helicopter. I, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I really I want mean, that. Think about all the things that you do, either moving or, like, dealing with corporations that require just lots and lots of like lizard brain rote steps like if you have a, a fraud alert on your credit card and you need to call it like you've got to find the number you find the number you dial the number and you, you press one connect. yeah you punch in your the last four digits of your account number you find that you punch in so your social, what what cuts you wait into all hold. that like think about all the amount of the amount of stuff in all the steps that it takes to get you to talk to a person that says oh yeah you're i'm cool you're cool but We're can done. you take that and apply that to like going to work yeah, well, what I'm saying is, like, if you think about how much actual intellectual effort goes into most of those steps, it's actually not that nothing. much. It's nothing, And, yeah. like, if you could have a bot just do those steps. Right. And so what are the other things that don't take a bunch of intellectual work to do? Driving to work. Going and, like, I don't know, cleaning my house. So I've got a robot vacuum. Like, we're at a place now where we can just make stuff that does those things. Right. The, the, the work now is to actually put it together into products that can actually talk to each other and aren't too creepy and eventually don't kill us all, right? Like that's that's the mission for the next can couple we talk years. About, can we talk about like Uber and Lyft and well, all I mean, of these? GM is just in right. the that's that's But it's like, are we, are, how, f- how f- close are we to a world where I can call in self-driving Uber? 
Well, that depends on who you ask. If you ask Nvidia, we're very far because like the first ninety-five percent of driving is super easy, and the last I've five heard about this. Yeah, the last five percent. Yeah, but I mean, GeoHot did it by himself. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tesla's rolling out over a software update, more or less. I think we're close. Yeah, where where we the, can the, do it, but regulations are going to yeah, stop us. Yeah, that's right. right. I mean, the number well, is twenty twenty or twenty thirty. That's what yeah. everybody else. The, 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 the twenty twenty or twenty thirty. It's 2020, a right, question yeah. of like, what's our risk tolerance for those edge cases? Right. If, it's, if we can get it from five percent of like things that it can't handle down to one percent, and like we at that one percent, we know that like self driving cars will kill fewer people than human driv driving cars. Right. Will we be able to make the mental shift to be like that's a, that's an acceptable risk of death? And will, will we be able, as a society, to be like, we know who to blame when that exists? Right, because these things have happens. to be programmed to kill, right, right, in one way or another, right? Because if, if the car sees a pedestrian, you know, running into the road, do they run over that pedestrian or go and, you know, veer over? The or bridge. To right, see, so yeah, that, yeah. Whole, that whole thing. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like a, you deal with ethics then, too. Right. But I don't know. I'm excited for a self-driving car future. Have yeah. you been? Have you been in a Tesla that has lane assist yet? No. It is mm. unbelievable. It is so Wait, lane surreal. assist or the auto drive. It's the same thing. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. No, it's not. Mm. 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 Lots no? of cars have lane assist. Lane assist tells you that there's somebody else in the. It's no, like that, no it but there are some cars lane. that will steer for you. Yeah. Yeah. The it's Tesla, Tesla will or drive just like itself. Yeah. Well, I thought it will. I thought lane assist will like speed you up or slow you down. Whatever. It whatever. Depends on the car maker. Version there. seven point oh. The yeah. Tesla that they rolled out over the air, that whatever it drives for you, it's cool. Did he do this with really? Uh, with Joel? Mouse? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was really. It's like really just weird being in a vehicle that's moving for you. But like, like to your point, Dieter, these, the uh, we think we're moving toward that point. All right. And so what else are you gonna look at at CSM? You gotta Me? put yourself into Fallout Four. Excuse me. You gotta put yourself into Fallout Four. Does Intel have the coolest Fallout stuff here? Fallout Four, the game. Yeah, they you can they'll, you go and sit in a, in a stool and then a dude points a tablet at you for two minutes and then you wait a minute oh, for you in the cloud oh, and oh, then your oh, face gets wow. put in Fallout Four. That's that Intel. Yeah. yeah. Where is Intel's? Oh, it's like right we at the were beginning. The, we were right? there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, the giant so man. So crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Well, Sam, what else are you gonna look at here? What else? You, what are you going for? What's on your list? Um. I don't know. I kind of want to go back to South Hall. I saw like the Ra Razer's new camera. I haven't used that yet. Um, I mean, you like there's the gadgets are back, right? So there's there. I want to like <laughs> they're back. They're always I mean, they, back. they were back last. They year went too. away for like they a went month away. between <laughs> when Eli said they were back, but now they came back after that month when they they went, got, away, went away for five years. They're back, um, but they came back last year. There, there's yes. so and then many. they went away. Like I think they went away at the end of December for like maybe two days, and then they came back for a year. Yeah, they always they, they take yeah. a vacation. <laughs> take a little vacation, so Neil uh, can write. The gadgets back. do all these really really annoying Instagrams <laughs> from vacation spots. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I want to uh, I want to ride. Uh, who bought um, Segway? Who is it? What company bought Segway? They're right over They're here. Right there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Who I bought them? It's uh, Someone bought Segway. Nine, 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 Nine bot. Nine bot. Um, I want to ride that little thing. Yeah. That seems cool. And then there's like all these just like electric scooters and like these little electric transport vehicles that are cool. I mean, you know, I ride an electric skateboard to work, so it's like kind of just what I think about all the time. Um, it's like rideables. Um, but other than that, uh, I fell I, off an electric scooter yesterday. <laughs> Wait, tell me this whole I, story. I'm sorry. How did we not spend the entire time <laughs> talking about this story? I didn't really fall off. Jeff was driving it, and I was on the back of it, and then yeah, yeah. Oh, was wow. that the white one that's in the parking lot? No, it was the one at, that was at um, oh Pepcom. It's called the Irby, I believe. <coughs> Wow. You in the vlog. Sam is literally yeah. vlogging right now. Live Sam's going to teach me how to do ride a boat. Sam has guys, become my, you follow my Sam new Sheffer life coach. follow on YouTube. He puts up a vlog every day. <laughs> is no, really? not every day. Every day. You should vlog every day. He promises every day. What is the point of a vlog if you don't do it every day? Yeah, of course. You need to do it every day. This is turned back into the Sam. We roast Sam. Yeah. That's cool. Well, Sam right now is my life coach. That's right. That's right. Are you going to? I don't know. Don't. Don't even. Are you going to start vlogging? Maybe I'm. Te I literally am teaching Joanna how to snap. Sam, yeah, I feel He's like Joanna needs. Snapchat. You need. You need a mission. I, I feel like I need to give you like a reality yeah, show you had style sticks quest. Last year. What's your mission this there year? There was you nothing need a thing. this year. I tried to find it like and there gimmick? was nothing. You should have just brought the selfie stick back. I know. Yeah, I have one in my book bag. Mm, I have one in my hotel room. Okay. I Where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't find anything that was like really 
got me or something that was like super wacky. It just, I couldn't that, find it. That, cu that new Keurig machine is interesting. Keurig's That's doing. not wacky though. No, I know, but it's, it's I like, like kind of want one of those. Yeah. The soda machine? Yeah. yeah. The thing is a huge ripoff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They're all ripoffs. It's rip a massive ripoff. <laughs> A rip off. Cool. And of, now we're going to end the show. Your money. <laughs> yeah. um, well, also, there's like gotta, two here's bartenders. What I, here's machines, what I want the too. people yeah. to do. With like a little thing. And this will only really start to happen later in the day because we're not we're taping. We're not live. Just tweet at Joanna Stern. Do not tweet at me. With what do you it. think her CES gimmick should be. Do not. I'm leaving. Should it be the selfie stick again? I'm leaving. Should Joanna just be the girl who, she's for gonna get whatever a, reason, she's has gonna a huge flashlight flash in her hands at all times? <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> she has flashlights. I saw a lot of crazy, weird stuff, you know, and... I think also part of like my disillusionment is that I've been now to enough CES shows where you just, when you see things and you're just like, yeah, there's no way that's coming out. Yeah, yeah like the Faraday you know? future. And it's so sad because you're like, no, but there are these awesome sneakers that you can control is with your Apple phone. Corner? I don't know. Yeah. What? <laughs> the sneakers. Talk the about sneakers. the sneakers. Like I, I got pitched on like five different pairs of sneakers and there's one that's really cool. You can control the temperature in the sneakers. You can adjust them. You can count your steps. All of these cool things in the sneakers. And then I went to go see it, and I was like, yeah, this thing's definitely never coming out. Yeah, because you saw, like, a prototype. Yeah, and I was like, oh, God. But isn't that what CES is? It's, like, it hopes is. and dreams and promises. It and is, it's but like, I want to take it here's, home. Here's what we can do. Just wait two years. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> yes, and sometimes we see that. But, like, one, another really good example is, like, I'm really obsessed with wireless charging right now. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming to the show seven years ago I think it was in Gadget and I wrote about Witricity oh man and like oh, Witricity God. doesn't feel like they're any further along even though <coughs> I know they are I wrote a story for Engadget called like this is wireless charging to yeah. do you know how much I regret that story <laughs> when did you write that story it was like seriously 2008 was it at the Intel booth no <laughs> No, I made I why I thought wireless charging was so deep gonna happen. I went and had them. It's always had a wireless happen. Foreman grill, and I made them make me a burger on it because I didn't believe. What it was the hell is a so wireless Foreman grill? Let me tell you what I did yesterday. Grill. I met an with two. Like it was a Foreman grill, but instead of plugging in the wall, they like set it on a pad, and the pad provided enough mm. power to the thing. Grilling with fire is probably. And it the made way you a really go. great grilled cheese without wires. Yeah. Well, except but for the wires that were clearly connected to the gigantic metal table that I was standing over. <laughs> yep. But, yep. but, but if I could thing. take the Foreman grill and walk away, <laughs> and then that would be useless unless I had another giant metal table. But you see where right. it's going. But you, the, you, you need the... Yesterday I had two meetings with wireless charging companies, and it's like, I saw this five years ago. And yeah. yes, it's awesome. I want to be able to charge my phone sitting on my couch from a router that's in the garage. So you're saying you don't want that Apple case on there? No, I love this Apple case, mm -hmm. Sam. We're not talking about the I've checked case. the Apple case. It's the major, I want major to, boss. I want to have this Apple case on all day <laughs> and Venmo all day. It's literally good. To Neil it feels like good. How much should Venmo pay you to? I just want to know. Is it a, is it a big number? How much should Venmo Venmo you? Why is there not you realize I can ads. look on Venmo like, and see. No ads. No ads. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So you want to come back for ads tomorrow? <laughs> I'll be back for Squarespace. You want to read the ads tomorrow? Yes. I was on Gruber's podcast too and also did about... 20 minutes of Squarespace talking. That's right. No. You, just, well, you just read a Squarespace ad. I just did. She had paid now. But I mean, but uh, my main point is like, I do love CES. I love seeing these things and I'm like, this is going to be amazing. We're going to watch it happen. I guess I'm getting very frustrated year after year not seeing some of these things happen or they just don't get better. Right. I, and it gets better, but you know, it just, gets better. Can I just, for the people, for the people that are listening to this at home or like in your car on the way to work or something, or on your rideable. Or on your rideable. Yeah. I just, I just want to make it really clear. Helicopter. I just want to make it really clear that CES is very cool. And I think we're all a little bit this jaded guy. after being here. Seriously, for like eight, nine, ten years in a row, it's like it feels like the same thing every year. But if you've never been to CES, it like will seem very glorious and it is it's very tiring but like really you this is where you come to see all the cool stuff like we are definitely like talk, oh it's all the same every year but like you don't get to see an 8k 98 inch tv every day just like i think like the it's the little things like just walking into a thing and seeing you know lg's booth has like 80 tvs like it's creating true. this massive and i will display, say and like, like vr is um oh, vr is like taken 10 over 10 years ago nine years ago there's nothing Eli, there's remember when i came to my first ces with you and you made me go to the Vuzix booth mm -hmm. oh, Vuzix. and you made me put on that terrible headset yes and now look, now look, now look how far they come. <laughs> I mean, and I was, a, and I was right that oh day. Oh my god! Sorry. I'm just saying, like, remember this that. But like, now VR is 
I mean, yes, it's yeah. not here it's, for everybody. The, 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 uh, the, the, the way is you have to set your expectations and understand that there are iterative updates here that happen. That right, are, and, and we, that's okay. but we, we are so in the for trenches example, like of those iterative last updates. Last year, uh, one of our reporters, Sean O'Kane, was on a desperate, desperate hunt for true wireless earbuds. You put one in your Sean, right? Yeah. 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 Right, or like just, and like he Did found he a couple and yeah. they were garbage and they weren't ever going to come out. You just knew in his heart right. they weren't ever going to come out. There's like three or four pairs here this year yeah, and they're actually really good. So it went from like it's impossible dream to ones. garbage yeah. prototype right. to retail yeah, product yeah. in three years. Like it's that's like, like two years from now. Those you're wearing those sneakers. Yeah, yeah. wearing the sneakers, wireless charging, <laughs> with a VR headset on. Huh? Oh my god! You'll basically be a baby. Your shoes will tie themselves for you Have while you, you live in a virtual world and, and a helicopter. <laughs> and a helicopter will fly. You Have you guys seen these VR headsets now that? Maybe the Vive does this. I'm not sure because I have somehow yet to play with that thing. I also have never tried a Morpheus. Let's go after um, this. Let's go try the Morpheus. It's here. Morpheus it's is here. Sony has Morpheus. Sony has it. Yeah. Cool. I haven't tried. Um, it yet, have I you guys seen these long. these VR headsets with the cameras now? So it's like VR and AR combined. So you put on the yeah. headset. You're yeah. in virtual world, but you like see your hands. There yes. was one. Yeah, the, yeah. like pass through cameras. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done anything like the like Oculus doesn't do that's that, right? That's what's gonna be great about yeah, like getting Gear VR. Does. Like Gear VR does do that? Them. It doesn't do like AR. It no, Gear VR is like, like you put the through. phone in, right, and it's like and doing you that. You can flip on the you camera can turn and on like the look camera. around. Yeah, and it's super weird. But that's okay. mostly like so you don't. I don't know. I think that's like a really <laughs> weird, interesting. No, space. that's like, like the, the, that's the like you're so deep in your VR sesh you can't take off the headset. Right. So you just like flick the switch and you're like, oh my hands are here, but I'm still out of space. I just need to get drink. <laughs> I need to get drink. <laughs> have you have you guys done the Samsung 4D Oculus experience thing where you sit in the chair and it's like uh, you're yeah. in a... No, I really, I really want to try that too. All right. Well, it sounds like we have a bunch of stuff to run around and try. I'm Joanna, so down. we're, we're going to find you it. a gimmick. Tweet going home. again at Joanna Stern yep. for her next well, going gimmick. home. I wish we had done this two days ago. But well, I'm just well gonna, maybe yeah. next week. Tweet at her anyway. Uh, Dieter is at Backlon. I have to spend the week with Sam. He's helping me snap. Sam is at Sam Sheffer. I'm at Reckless. This, I would say, has been an emotional Vergecast journey. So it's a good one. It w- I mean, I, I love having you two here. Thank you. I think you two uh, are tired. You. Yes, you we're a little tired. We're tired, and you, <laughs> we got to bring you up. We got to lift your spirits. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I think, is where the show ends. We'll be back every day from CS. Uh, See you, New York. Tomorrow, I'm just going to take a whole bunch of drugs before being on the show. With David Pierce. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, so, I'm, so I'm lit yeah, up David for David. David Pierce left us today. Yeah. Oh, well, I, subscribe you know. to our YouTube channel. Subscribe YouTube. to our YouTube channel. Verge. Yeah. Follow us on Snapchat. Oh, and uh, Nicola Fumo will be on the show tomorrow. Oh, follow yeah, me on Snapchat, please. Uh, no. Joanna Stern. No, cut, cut the mic. Please no. do follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> oh, that's Nobody your, watches that's my Snapchat. your gimmick. It, I'm writing about Snapchat, and I'm using Sam. All right. Everyone knows now. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Sam is secretly teaching <laughs> me how to Snapchat. Alert. Rock and roll. <laughs> Goodbye. He's my tutor.